and Colin Murray, the EFL season so close to launching now. And the job of a manager is never an easy one in the EFL. But right now, it's as hard as it's ever been with how last season uh, was truncated in League One and League Two and then trying to get back in in a very different and trying environment. I've got the perfect man to talk me through the trials that every manager's facing at the moment. Darren Moore joins me now, Doncaster Rovers. Hiya, Darren. Hi, Colin. You OK? Yeah, well, I should be asking you that question. What What is... the? It's a hectic life as it is as, as a manager, but can you sort of describe what the last few weeks has been like in these times, financially, everything taken into account, trying to put a squad together to tackle the season ahead? Well, I think the, the first things first is that um, it's been uh, obviously weird and surreal times. And I think the biggest thing that I've been sort of governed by and been led with is the safety uh, procedures that's in place for the players, the staff and and everybody that's been connected to the football club. And I would imagine I speak on behalf of the majority of, if not all the clubs in terms of we feel that the safety aspect's been key and paramount. So um, the restrictions what the EFL have put in and the government have put in, we've been following them really, really um, strict, uh, cold really in terms of how managing the team in smaller groups and then increasing those numbers as, as the days have gone by and me, moving through the different phases uh, to get to a level where we can train as, as a group together. But even though you train as a group together, it's about keeping the the so-called social distancing and, and making sure that we're, we're following the procedures in keeping you know hands and surfaces as as clean and as possible and, and adhering to limited amount of contact. So we've done that thus far and you know it saw us you know come on the verge of the, the start of the season hopefully if we can continue doing our bit like everybody else then hopefully we'll see football back in terms of the EFL for certainly for leagues one and two um in terms of financial structure as we know the fans are, are away from the football club so it's very very difficult for the clubs have been found it very very hard you've heard Colin that there's been many many redundancies right across uh, the football clubs, which is, it's been such a shame because you don't want to lose uh, people, but that's the situation that we've been in. And um, and that's what we're faced with and, and tasked with in terms of moving forward so that the club can fulfil the, 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 the forthcoming season's campaign. We've seen fans rally around clubs like nothing else. It's, it's, it's something that you don't want to happen, but it's been heartwarming to see. But so, so loans have all, are always important in League One and League Two. They become increasingly so. They're they're almost, I have to say, they were the most vital thing this season because there, there just there isn't the same wages that can be promised at the moment. There isn't the same longevity of contracts for players you'd want to bring in permanently. So, so how big a part is that going to play in League One and League Two this year? The loans will be key, um, Colin, uh, this season because they'll be key for many reasons for. Uh, strength for the squad, um, good players, um, uh, opportunity for these players from the top clubs um, here in the Premier League and Championship to come down and play first team football at uh, League One and League Two, um, which is valuable for their development and their growth, but also for, to help the clubs that they come into. Um, so, so those are the where both. Uh, parties in terms of the play it works for for both uh, in terms of going forward because for us and certainly for a lot of the league one and league two for the financial outlay with the, with the lack of the support coming in and uh, the revenues everything's tightened right up right across the board so that's why the loans this season will be absolutely key for for, for numerous clubs at this level uh, to be able to fulfill uh, the new um, seasonal campaign Obviously, there were more important things back in February and March than, than football. But on a pure football level, how frustrating was it for you, Darren Moore, in your first full season to not be able to see that that through, to not be able to sort of get to the end of a full season and say, look look where the progression was? Yeah. Yeah, and you're, you're spot on, um, Colin. We we so was in wanted that, the full season, to go on and yeah, finish on 36 games and... You know, we look at as a football club and see that we was right on the crest with a possibility of, you know, challenging for those playoffs, which, as you know, in your, in your first first year, it's really 
it would have been a great achievement. So for me, it was just I think everybody at the football club deserved that opportunity to see where we could have taken it over 46 games. It weren't to be uh, because obviously, you know, safety has to prevail. And, you know, and here we are sort of six months on later, hopefully following the procedure and the rules to start a new campaign. Obviously, we know players have moved on, staff have moved on. So it's a different it's a different um, circumstances set before us and different new challenges. Um, and challenges, you know, we'll have to meet this season uh, with the group in terms of going forward. Um, so, so there's big challenges this year because of, you know, the planning, the preparation and what the season looks like uh, in terms of planning and preparing and training for games uh, will be challenging uh, for us at the football club, for everybody, um, certainly at this level. So very much feels like from your own point of view and also from a, from a club point of view of, of unfortunately, despite the positives of last season, like start, starting again almost, where project starts now. Yeah, that's right. You know, it is, it's taking all the positives that you had from last season and trying to build on those positives and, and, and trying to get started now. Um, it's going to be different, Colin, because, you know, we've, we've not played for six months, you know, so it's incredible. So what you want to try and do is for the players to find their rhythm and the cohesion, the group cohesion really, really quickly. Um, so it's almost like you're going a little bit into the unknown because um, to how players can settle down quickly and get going or do players need those that cushion of games to find their rhythm and 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 find their the the timing and everything right because it's never been heard of that you know the players need their bodies to perform and their bodies have been um, sat resting for the last six months so there's been a careful process in terms of trying to get them back up to a level uh, of competition, but to get their bodies in a robust state to deal with the demands what's coming in the next few weeks, really. So it's been a challenge for us all thus far. But as I said, you know, there's not a right way or not a wrong way with it. What you what you hope for is the work you've done is you're able to start the campaign and find your your rhythm really, really quickly. And I think as a a, a to finish, I think you, you absolutely nail it, um, Darren. In terms of whether I take you back to your first season at Torquay United, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, got that right. And uh, yeah. right through to this season with Doncaster Rovers as a player and a manager of of now looking at 28, 29 years. There's no, there was there there will never and hopefully never will again be a season like the one we're about to have. No, and that's what that's why you know um, whether you're in, you're you're deemed an experienced manager or one was just coming into the game. Uh, it will test all your skill sets in terms of uh, your management and in terms of dealing with the day-to-day -day aspects of the, the of the football side of things. You know, as a manager now as in club, we have a, a, a duty to help to manage and oversee the the, 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 the the staff and the players at the football club, but also the community look to the football clubs. And at this stage in time where football has been their go-to, you know, it's been shut down. So a lot of people have, have, have missed the the adulation of going to football matches and, and having that at the end of their week and that be sort of being in their weekly uh, plan in terms of working hard and then having the football to go and support their local team. That's been missing. So you, you, as a manager, your role as well is to support and keep the harmony in the community and send out positive messages in the community and, and, and keep the harmony within the football club. And, and and the players, the staff, and and just keep working together, and together like everybody else, we'll get back to what we deem what was some sort of normality in terms of that. We've seen we've seen many many different aspects in terms of the Brighton Chelsea game at the weekend where fans were allowed to come back in, what went really really successful. And I believe over the next sort of month to two months, we hope to see that happen back at um, League One and League Two because we certainly know Colin. At this level, the revenue of those fans coming into the club to keep it moving is vital. Absolutely. Very well said. Darren, best of luck with the season ahead. Come Cheers. what may. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Thanks for talking to us ahead of the new EFL season. Cheers, Colin. Thanks ever so much. Thanks for having me on.